Breaking news this time here at home in a ruling that could change the scope of rap music and really all artistic expression. Just a short time ago, the judge overseeing the YSL racketeering trial ruled that yes, certain rap lyrics can be used as evidence. Yeah, so it is a landmark ruling that could have sweeping consequences in the legal world and in the world of music as well. Judge Ural Glanville began hearing motions on the matter yesterday, finally announcing his decision today. Atlanta News first reporter Rebecca Schramm was there when the ruling came down. And here she is live at the Fulton County Courthouse. Rebecca, no doubt prosecutors are, are pleased with this ruling. That's right, Joy and Rick, you know, prosecutors are hoping to use these lyrics to try to prove to a jury that young thug rapped openly about his crimes. Well, this is a huge blow to defense attorneys. They were hoping to prove to the judge or to convince the judge that the use of those lyrics would violate the constitutional rights of the defendants. Nothing. During a hearing that lasted late into the night, defense attorneys for Jeffrey Young Thug Williams and his co-defendants tried to get rap lyrics excluded as evidence in the upcoming racketeering trial. That's why rap music is introduced. That's why no other genre is introduced, because rap music is inherently prejudicial. Prosecutors argued the lyrics will help them prove that YSL is not just a record label, as the defense claims, but that it's also a criminal street gang. Why is all this gang evidence relevant? Well, Your Honor, in a street gang act violation charge or a racketeering charge, evidence of the existence and the nature of the organization is not only relevant, it's required. The judge came back this morning with an answer. 17 sets of lyrics can be used at trial for limited purposes. I'll conditionally admit those pending lyrics um, depending upon or subject to a foundation um, that is properly laid um, by the state or the proponent that seeks to admit that evidence. And opening statements in this racketeering trial are scheduled to begin November 27th. Joy? All right, thank you so much, Rebecca. So the judge, as you reported, said that he's conditionally admitting the lyrics as evidence, conditionally. Explain what that means. Well, it means that prosecutors, Joy, are gonna have to establish that the lyrics could be tied to specific crimes that are laid out in the indictment. No doubt the defense is going to object to those lyrics being used during the trial. So we'll just have to wait and see whether the jury actually sees them. All right, thank you so much. Our Rebecca Schramm reporting live from the Fulton County Courthouse. Now we stream that ruling live on ANF Plus. We will continue streaming all the motions related to the case. In addition, of course, to the trial itself, you can watch all of our streams on multiple platforms, including on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, YouTube, our website, or our Atlanta News First mobile news app.